Hello, P3 children. You are most welcome to our online lessons. My name is Mwanda Hamid, taking you through science. So this is our lesson 19. Remember to follow from 18, you have to go to 19. So as you are doing some work there, indicate also the number of the lesson. It will help you fall smartly. So um, before we open lesson 19, uh, lesson 18, I left you with some activity that I'm going through very quickly and then we enter lesson 19. Number one, what do we call the keeping of the mouth parts clean? That is oral health. Then number two, mention any four items used to promote oral health. So items used to promote oral health, we have a toothbrush, toothpaste, um, dental floss, and then toothpick. You can talk of those four items. Then why do we need to brush our teeth daily? I gave so many reasons, if you can remember, to prevent bad breath, to prevent tooth decay. Uh, you can talk of those and then you also go and check for other reasons. I think there were more than four. Then, uh, apart from brushing teeth, mention any other way of promoting oral health. So we shall talk of dental flossing, then we shall also talk of tooth picking. Uh, number five, draw a name and two items used to promote oral health. So I expect someone to have drawn maybe a toothbrush, toothpaste, dental floss, or a toothpick, any of those ones. Number six, how can we prevent tooth decay? By brushing tooth, I uh, mean by brushing teeth every day or daily or after every meal. Someone can also add and say, by brushing teeth using toothpaste. So when you, br you, when you brush, you must uh, also use the toothpaste because it is the one that kills the bacteria. So you can put your answers rotating on that idea. Anyone can be okay. Uh, what do we call a person who treats our teeth? That person is called a dentist. The person is called a dentist. Can we spell dentist? Dentist, D-E-N-T-I-S-T, -E dentist. So, uh, my good children, we are now going into lesson nine, and in lesson nine, we are going to spell, I mean, we are going to define food contamination. We are going to give why food can get contaminated. Then uh, we are going to list that disease is caused by eating contaminated food, then we are going to define food hygiene and ways of keeping food clean. After that, I think we shall be, uh, that will be the end of our lesson 19. So session one. My good children, uh, when we are doing this work, like if we give you an activity to try, don't mix it in the other book. You can, uh, I, I one time uh, went to someone and checked the books. I told you I would be, I would sometimes move around and check those books. So I checked someone was writing this, mixed this with the work, and again the, act, the other, our last activity. So what we are going to do, let us separate them. Maybe you can get a separate book for your trial, for your and trials, as we give you the activity to try first, you write it in a separate book. Then after, afterwards, the other activities that we give at the end, must be in a separate book. We write the heading and then the activity only, such that when it, it makes it easy for proper notes and also uh, proper marking. So that is that. Now session one, in some separate book, some separate notebook, uh, what is food contamination? So I'm going to give you one minute to think of and write it in a separate, not in the, in the, in the book where we're going to give the activity from after learning. So what is food contamination? Just one minute. Okay, thank you, I think you are done. What is food contamination? Now compare your answer with mine. Food contamination is when food go gets into contact with germs. What is food contamination? Food contamination is when food gets into contact with 
germs. I remember sometime in P2, you learned about germs, and they told you what germs are, living things that cause diseases. So when food gets into contact with germs, that is what we call food contamination. And we say, this food is now contaminated. So are we, uh, are we supposed to eat contaminated food? No. Why? We shall get some diseases. Right? Yes. And these diseases that we get after eating contaminated food are called diurio diseases. We shall see it ahead. So what is food contamination? Food contamination is when food gets into contact with germs. Can you spell contact? Contact. C-O-N-T-A-C-T. -T. Contact. Then germs quickly. Germs. G-E-R-M-S. Germs. What is food contamination lastly? Food contamination is when food gets into contact with germs. So keep uh, uh, practicing. How does food get into contact with germs? How can food get contaminated? So I'm going to give you a still two minutes and write for me some three ways how food, the one that is prepared, ready to eat, can get contaminated. Just three ways. Okay, I think you are done. You must be fast because we have to, uh, uh, to chase time. We have to be in time. We have to do this work and it is too much. So what we do when we give you an activity and we say one minute, make sure don't allow anything to, to disturb you. Get a pen and write them down in a separate notebook. So um, which are the ways food can get contaminated? One, compare your ways uh, with mine. One, by leaving food uncovered. Can we say that? By leaving food uncovered. Can we spell living? Living. L-E-A-V-I-N-G. Living. Then uncovered. Uncovered. U-N-C-O-V-E-R-E-D. Uncovered. So what is that first way? By leaving food uncovered. They have served you. Maybe you are not yet there. Oh, oh they have served you saying, eat this food. Then instead of eating, you leave it there, you walk away. You have left that food uncovered. So uh, vectors can easily come and put their germs and food will get contaminated. Now when you rush quickly, you are back, now you are hungry, you will start eating. But you forget that you left that food uncovered. And when you left it uncovered, maybe when you were not there, something came, vectors came and they put their uh, germs. So when you eat, you'll get some problems. Don't do that. Don't uh, leave your food any covered. Why? It will be contaminated. Then number two, by eating food with dirty hands. This comes because uh, some of you, uh, they serve when you are very hungry. So when, in the moment they give you, you don't mind. You say, when you look at them, you say, after all, my hands are clean. I have not touched the soil, maybe that what. But remember, uh, if you have not washed, you never know. Maybe you touched some, uh, somewhere and there were germs there. So you, maybe you touched them and carried them in your hands. But you can't see them. Remember, they are very tiny. They are small. They cannot be seen unless you use a microscope. So uh, when you eat food with that hands, you will uh, contaminate that. As you touch, the germs will also join and get in contact with the food. And then you'll eat them and get some diseases called the diurio diseases. Uh, another way, serving food on in dirty utensils. Can we say that? Serving food in dirty utensils. The plates you use, make sure they are washed well and dried washed and dried. So we when you serve food in dirty utensils, the food will get contaminated and it will make you sick. Uh, then also preparing food in dirty places. Where do we need to prepare food from? From the kitchen or from a place that is clean, not near the toilet, not near dirty places, not near uh, the rubbish pit because they can be there can be some uh, vectors there. 
So food must be prepared in a clean place. So how does food uh, uh, get contaminated? We are going to read through very quickly, number one, by leaving food uncovered. Number two, by eating food with dirty hands. Number three, by serving food in dirty utensils. Number four, by preparing food in dirty places and some other ways. I know there are some other ways that you know that uh, can make food get contaminated. So you will add on the list. Uh, as we move on in our session three, we are going to look at the effects uh, of eating contaminated food. When we talk of effects, we mean what happens? What comes out after eating contaminated food? Think, and you tell me one effect of eating contaminated food. What will happen when, uh, when so and so, when someone eats contaminated food? Just one minute. Okay, I think you are done. Now, what happens when someone eats contaminated food? Uh, it can lead to diarrhea diseases. Can we say that? It can lead to diarrhea diseases. Can we spell the word diarrhea? Diarrhea. D I A R R H O E A L. Diarrhea. Then diseases? Diseases. D I S E A S E S. Diseases. So, um, Eating contaminated food can lead to diarrheal diseases. Now, what are the examples of diarrheal diseases? And these are the effects. There is only one effect. It leads to diarrhea diseases. Now, what are the examples of diarrheal diseases? We have diarrhea. Now, we shall look at this in detail. We have diarrhea. We have cholera. Uh, we have typhoid. Then we have dysentery. Those are the examples of diarrhea diseases. So we, when you eat contaminated food or you drink contaminated water, you are likely to get any of these diseases. Even sometimes you can get all. So uh, you just have to be careful when, uh, when you are dealing with the food. Make sure you put it in a safe place. So to avoid this, to avoid all this, uh, what do we need to do, uh, my good children? The solution is uh, practicing food hygiene. Practicing food hygiene. So in our session four, we are going to, to see what food, food hygiene is. Now I'm going to give you uh, some one minute and you think of this activity. What is food hygiene? Mm -hmm. I know someone is busy writing something, some idea about food hygiene. Remember, we are preventing the other things above. We are making our food now safe, such that we don't get uh, diarrhea diseases. What is food hygiene? Compare your answer with mine. Food hygiene is the way of keeping food clean. Can we say that again? What is food hygiene? Food hygiene is the way of keeping food clean. Just that, the way of keeping food clean. Session five, how can we keep our food clean? Now I'm, giving, I'm going to give you uh, one minute to give me uh, those ways of promoting food hygiene, all the ways of keeping food clean, but I can give you an idea. Uh, when we prevent the other uh, things above that leads to food contamination, we are promoting what we call food hygiene. So uh, the ways of promoting food hygiene or of keeping food clean are the opposites of the other, the other things that we discussed in the beginning of food contamination. So uh, can we check now? I think you have written them. One, two, three, enough. Now we can go. How do we prevent, how do we keep our food clean? One, by covering food. Can we say that? By covering food. Remember the other time, the other side, uh, things uh, that lead to food contamination was leaving food uncovered. So how do we promote food hygiene? By covering food and mostly leftover. If you have eaten some and you think you'll eat that food again, please cover it. And when you do so, you are promoting what we call food hygiene. 
By covering food, I think you can see in nice utensils, in clean utensils. Don't say I'm covering food, then you get, uh, you get a dirty plate and you cover food. So you are still doing the same. You are again contaminating it. So you must cover it uh, using very clean utensils. Um, by serving food on clean utensils, don't get dirty ones. They have not washed them. Or they have washed them, but they're not dry. They will not, because they will have uh, that, I mean, water that is not boiled and may have some germs. So you must make sure that uh, the plates, the utensils are clean, washed well, and also dried. Those are clean utensils. So by serving food on clean, uh, in clean utensils. Uh, then we have others here. By covering food, by eating food with clean hands, don't just rush to eat. Uh, you have to wash your hands and remove germs. By serving food in clean utensils, we saw that the pictures, uh, by preparing food in, a clean pla in clean places, don't prepare food from anywhere, near the toilet, near, dust, near the dustbin, near the, rush, the rubbish pit. You must prepare your food in a clean place. Uh, not children, we need to keep our food clean to prevent diarrhea diseases. Why do we need to keep our food clean to prevent diarrhea diseases? Why do we need to promote food hygiene to prevent diarrhea diseases? So you may meet any of those questions. They have the same answer. Uh, my good children, we have come to the end of this lesson and we have ended with this activity. Sit down and do it well. I will check it. Thank you for learning. <laughs>